Hi students, in the last class we have studied what is an arithmetic sequence, its common difference, end term of an arithmetic sequence and uh, algebraic form of an arithmetic sequence, isn't it? Kanya class, we have a sequence of arithmetic sequence. We have a arithmetic sequence in the common difference. अरे E class. In this class, we are going to find some more going to do. In this class, we are going to do some more examples, isn't it? In page number 18, the first question is the first question is. Check whether each of the following, each of the sequences given below is an arithmetic sequence. Give reasons for the arithmetic sequences. Write the common difference also. This is the first question. Then the other one. The other one is the sequence. Arithmetic sequence. I am going to write it. I am going to write arithmetic sequence. I am going to write common difference. First question is the sequence of odd numbers. Sequence of odd numbers. Odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. These are the sequence of odd numbers, isn't it? Here, how can we check it is an arithmetic sequence? Arithmetic sequence on the chapter is on the other way of the That is, A1 is 1, A2 is 3, A3 is 5. Find A2 minus A1. That is, 3 minus 1, that is 2. Now find A3 minus A2. That is, 5 minus 3, that is also. If A2 minus A1 is equal to A3 minus A2, then it is an arithmetic sequence, isn't it? Now, the arithmetic sequence is known as second term minus first term and the right term. Third term minus second term and the right term, same idea. Meaning, fourth term minus third term and the right term. Fifth term minus fourth term and the right term, same idea. Now, the sequence is known as the arithmetic sequence. But since A2 minus A1 is equal to A3 minus A2, it is an A B. This is the arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence, in short, we can say that A B is arithmetic progression, isn't it? Now, the common difference here, B is equal to, this is 3. Common difference is 2. Follow this. Now, the second question is, second question is, Sequence of even numbers. Even numbers is 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. These are the set of even numbers. Sequence of even numbers. Here A is equal to A1 is 2, A2 is 4, A3 is 6. Find A2 minus A1. 4 minus 2, that is 2. Find A3 minus A2. A3 is 6. Minus 4, that is 2. Here also, since A2 minus A1 is equal to A3 minus A2, both are 2, therefore it is also an AP. And what is the common difference of this AP? Here, B is equal to, here also, B is 2, isn't it? Now, next sequence is, Fraction, sequence of fractions called as half 
the odd numbers. Half the odd numbers is 1 by 2, the first. Then 3 by 2, 5 by 2, 7 by 2, etc. Isn't it? Here what about A1 is 1 by 2, B1 is 3 by 2, C1 is 5 by 2. Now find, sorry, A1, A2, and A3. Uh, First term A1, second term A2, third term A3. Now find A2 minus A1. 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2. Since the denominators are same, write the numerators as it is. So 2 by 2 is 1. Denominator Sarimana mean numerator the other than the other denominator of the other. Now, what about A3 minus A2? A3 minus A2 is 5 by 2 minus 1 by 2. That is 5 minus 1 by 2, 4 by 2, which is 2. Here, A2 minus A1 is not equal to since uh, a2 minus a1 is not equal to a3 minus a2. Therefore, it is not an empty. It is not an empty. Follow this. Now the next question. Sequence of powers of 2. Sequence of powers of 2 means the sequence of 2, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 4, etc. These are the sequence of powers of 2. Now, what about A? A1 is 2 raised to 1, A2 is 2 square, A3 is 2 cube. Therefore, what about A2 minus A1? 2 square minus 2 raised to 1. 4 minus 2, that is 2. And what about A3 minus A2? A3 is a 2 cube minus a 2 square. 2 cube is 2 into 2 into 2, that is 8 minus. 2 square is 2 into 2, that is 4. That is 4. Here also, A2 minus A1, since a 2 minus A1, not equal to A3 minus A2, therefore it is not an empty. If the given sequence is not an empty, then we cannot find the common numbers, isn't it? Now the fifth question is sequence of reciprocals of natural numbers. Natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Reciprocals of natural numbers are 1 by 1, then 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, etc. These are the Sequence of the reciprocals of natural numbers. Here a, a1 is equal to 1 by 1 is 1, a2 is equal to 1 by 2, a3 is equal to 1 by 3. What about a2 minus a1? a2 minus a1 is 1 by 2 minus 1. Now cross multiply.
here also since a uh, a two minus a one is not equal to a three minus a two, it is not an a two. It is not an a, isn't it? It is also not a mathematical sequence. Follow this. To check whether the one sequence is a mathematic or not. How do you find? Find a two minus a one and a three minus a two. If it is equal, then it is an a b. Otherwise, it is not it, isn't it? Second question. You should write from the textbook. The second question. Uh, look at these pictures. There are three pictures. These squares are there. If the pattern is continued. Do the numbers of colored squares from an arithmetic sequence be present? Are there any other pictures or data? Then the E pattern continues to be present. Do the numbers of colored squares form an arithmetic progression be present? Is the arithmetic sequence at all known? And the reason is that the first or the second question. Question text में ना नोट बुक नोट पाओ ना आंसर वगैरह ना मैं क्यों ना हम तो स्क्वायर ना लगता है वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट स्क्वायर्स आते हैं नंबर ऑफ स्क्वायर्स नंबर ऑफ कलर स्क्वायर्स Uh, 
number of squares, and number of squares in the first page. Number of rectangles in the second picture is four. Number of rectangles in the third picture is six. And the number of rectangles in the fourth picture is eight. Isn't it? This is the first question. Second question is. Number of big squares in the first picture, number of big squares in the second picture, number of how many large squares are there in the second question? How many? How many large squares are there? In the first picture, there is no large square. Number of large squares in the first picture is equal to zero. There is no large square. So the degree is like this. So we are solving. Two small squares, no large square, isn't it? It's a rectangle. Second number of large squares in the this is the first picture. In the second picture, in the second picture there is only one large square, one that is like this. Here we have four small squares. Four small squares, one, two, three, four, and only one large square, isn't it? In the third picture, number of large squares in the third picture. Third picture, in the third picture, the degree is like this. We have one large square, isn't it? This is one large square, and we have another one large square, isn't it? So, how many large squares here? Can we have two large squares? One is this, and the other is this one, isn't it? So, here we have two large squares, and the number of large squares in the Fourth picture. The fourth picture is like like this. The fourth picture is like this. Here we have one large square. This is the first large square. And uh, this is the second large square. Isn't it? First large square, second large square. Here we have one more large square. Is this is also a large square. How many squares in all? That is the first. How many? 
coils in on from these two using these two questions so we have to find the third question here first question is total number of coils in first pitch is equal to 2 plus 0 it is 2 total number of squares in total number of squares in second pitch Here 4, here 1, 4 plus 1, there is 5. There are total number of 5 squares in the second. Now total number of squares. Sequence of large squares that is zero, first is zero, is it? Then one, two, three, etc. Here, what about a two minus a one, one minus zero is one, a three minus two minus one is also one. The quality is also an AP and its common difference is one. Here, the common difference is one. For this. Now we have one more question. Sequence of total number of squares. Total number of squares. Total number of squares is 2, 5, 8, etc. 2, 5, 8, 11, etc. Here, what about a 2 minus a 1? 
a2 minus 7 is 2 minus 5 of c sorry a2 minus 7 is 5 minus 2 that is 3 here a3 minus a2 is 8 minus 5 that is also 3 so it is also an AP having common difference there are common differences follow this question Questions are common on the first and second and third 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 and third. Now the fourth question. You write the question from the test book, okay? In the staircase shown here, a staircase is shown here. The uh, height of the uh, first step is 10 cm and height of each step after it is 17.5 cm. 17 so, height of first step is 10 cm. After that, the height of others. 17.5 cm and also the first question is how high from the ground would be someone climb up after each step the fourth question first question is how high from the ground would be someone climbing up after each step after each step this is the first step high from the ground After climbing up the first step is equal to first step now, 10 cm, isn't it? One of the step in the parameter, 10 cm climbing. Second step now, 17 point, we have to run the step over here now, 17 point, 5 cm is higher. So high from the ground, the ground after climbing the climbing up the second block step is equal to ten plus seventeen point five, that is twenty seven point five seven, isn't it? Then the third of step is twenty seven point five plus seventeen point five, that is uh, forty five seventy. The first question is how high from the ground would be someone climbing up each step. Here, here in the picture, it is given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 steps are given. Fourth step is high from the ground after climbing at the fourth step is equal to 45 plus 17.5. So it is 62.5 and high from the ground after climbing up the fifth step. Fifth step is 62.5 plus. 
17.5 so it is 79.8 cm 80 cm and the one more steps step is here sixth step is equal to 80 plus 17.5 that is 97.5 cm is it This is the first question. Now we have one more question. The second question is the sequence of this problem. The sequence is the sequence is Then sixty two point five, then eighty, ninety seven point five, come next. These are the sequence, isn't it? The, the next question, that is the fifth question. You should write the question from the test book, isn't it? The question is in this picture, the perpendiculars to the bottom line are the perpendiculars from the bottom line. Are equally spaced. Prove that continuing like this, the lengths of perpendiculars form an arithmetic sequence. Question is that find out perpendiculars here B A, B C, P of E, H Q, and G F, G I are perpendiculars to the baseline and uh, the foot of the perpendiculars that is OA is equal to AC is equal to CE is equal to EQ is equal to QI there is no so let me give that OA is equal to AC is equal to CE is equal to EQ is equal to QI is equal to X isn't it? In similar triangles, in similar triangles, triangle OAB, triangle OAB and triangle OCB, we have Equally spaced. Here, AB by CD is equal to AB by CD is equal to OA by OC. OA is X, OC is X plus X that is X. So we get this point by isn't it? Now, first one is like AB in the two. First multiplying, we have AB in the two is equal to, that is 2AB is equal to CD in the one, CD. Which implies that. CD is equal to 2AB. CD is equal to 2E, isn't it? Similarly, now EF. EF for AB by EF is equal to now 
a b by d f is equal to o a by o e o a by o e क्या o e is x o e is x plus x plus x o e that is three x so we have combined three therefore e f r into one therefore E F is equal to three into e. Correct. Similarly, E F is three A B. Similarly, G H. Similarly, G H is equal to four A B and. J I C equal to five R A B. Therefore, the sequence of the perpendiculars. Therefore, the sequence of perpendiculars is that is A B two A B A B two A B three A B. Comma etc. And uh, what is the common difference here? There are common difference is common difference is equal to two a b minus a b. That is equal to a b is the common difference, isn't it? This way. We can find the sequence as well as its common difference, isn't it? Now we have one more question. The algebraic expression of the sequence is x n is equal to six plus two. X n is equal to n cube minus six n square. N cube minus six n square plus thirteen n. Minus seven, thirteen n minus seven, isn't it? Is a an arithmetic sequence? To find it is an arithmetic sequence, we have minimum three terms: a one, a two, a three. Here, x one, x two, x three, isn't it? The x one is one cube of ten square one, six into one square plus thirteen into one. Minus seven, one minus six plus thirteen minus seven. That is equal to one plus thirteen minus thirteen minus six minus seven minus thirteen plus thirteen is zero. So x one is one. First term of the sequence is one. Now what about x two? Put x is equal to two cube of minus six into two square. Plus thirteen into two minus seven. Two cube is two into two into two. That is eight. Minus four into six twenty four. Plus twenty six minus seven. Isn't it? Eight minus seven is one. Minus twenty four plus twenty six is plus two. Therefore, it is three. Promise. Now we have to find one more term that is x prime. Put x is equal to three here. N is equal to three. Three cube minus six into three square plus thirteen into three minus seven. So twenty seven nine into six so three four plus thirteen and minus seven. Here we have minus twenty seven. Twenty seven minus fifty four minus twenty seven. Here minus seven plus thirty nine. So minus thirty four plus thirty nine. Therefore, it is equal to five. Let us check whether it is an empty or not. Now x two minus x one is equal to three minus two one is equal to two. Now find x three minus x two. X three minus x two is five minus three. That is also two. 
sense therefore it is an arithmetic sequence isn't it thus this exercise is completed bye